everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite projects that are made with the Cricut, wood signs. So to get started, you're going to need a piece of wood to work with. I'm using plywood that I found in my garage, but any kind of wood will work. Just make sure it's a smooth surface, and if it's not, sand it down until it's smooth. Then we'll start by applying the base coat of paint. I'm using a green chalk paint and rolling it on. You can use a regular paintbrush if you want, but I don't like brush marks, so I'm rolling. You'll probably have to do two to three coats of paint depending on how thick your paint is. I did two coats of the green. While the paint is drying, we can get the stencil cutting. You will need removable vinyl for this project. Place it on a light grip or standard grip cutting mat and get cutting. Then once it's finished, carefully weed the letters and cut off any excess vinyl. the vinyl to transfer tape. Use a scraper tool or brayer tool to really burnish the vinyl well onto the transfer tape. Then slowly peel the paper backing away from the vinyl. Once the sign is done drying, then we will apply the stencil to the sign. Line everything up how you want it and then burnish the transfer tape again onto the wood and then slowly remove the transfer tape. Make sure that there are no air bubbles in your vinyl. Then we're going to paint. The first step is going to be actually to paint the base color over the stencil first. So for me, it's green. This will essentially seal your vinyl stencil and make sure that there is no bleed through. Once that's dry, then paint the color that you want your letters or design to be next. I'm going to paint them white. Again, I'm rolling the white paint on, but you can certainly brush it on too. You'll probably need two to three coats of paint for the top. I did three. Once it's completely dry, slowly remove the vinyl and weed away the inside of the letters. If you see any bleed through, touch it up with a brush. Then I'm going to sand my board a little bit, mostly around the corners and the edges. This part is totally optional, but I like the rustic look, so I'm going to sand lightly with 120 grit sandpaper. Now it's time to cut the wood for the frame. I'm using lath that I found at Lowe's and cutting it to size, but I've also used 1x2 pine from Lowe's as well. Also, you should definitely always have eye protection on when you're cutting wood. Whoops. Then the last step is to frame our sign. To do this, I'm simply applying wood glue on the edges and then using a brad nailer to nail the frame to the sign. And there you have it, your own wood sign. It may seem like a lot of steps, but I promise you it's pretty simple and you can totally do it. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and we'll answer them for you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.